physical therapist. Yeah. And I'm Brad Hennig, physical therapist. And together we are the most famous physical therapist on the internet. I think in the universe. In our opinion. Yeah. <laughs> we have to qualify. Yeah. All right, what are we going to talk about today, Brad? Uh, what are we going to tell the folks? We are going to talk about something called iantophoresis, which is something therapists use on a regular basis. And don't let the term scare you off. I have that with patients. I say, we could do some iantophoresis with you and uh, treat this. And they look back and say, whoa. And, and then I talk about it being involved with some electricity. And that even kind of scares them off a little bit more. Sure. So what we want to do is... Uh, educate you and find out how simple this treatment is and as well as being effective. So uh, and we want to know that this is not a fad, by the way. This has been around for quite a while right, already. Right. And, and, and physical therapists have used it for, for many, many years. I think some doctors use it. Do sure. chiropractors use it? I haven't heard of that yet, but they Okay, are. sure. Um, let's go into the name Ionto. They're just referring to the base name ion, and I'll talk about that in a little the bit. Ions, yeah. yeah. And then phoresis, which means transmission. Right. So we're transmitting ions through the surface right. of the skin. Okay, so here is a diagram. Uh, without me talking about it, it probably looks like uh, an angle worm or something of that nature. It's a huge mess. Yeah, it's a mess. But let's, let's break this down. This line represents here. This the, is the skin. The skin, the surface of the skin, as we have it labeled here. Okay, now there's a patch, which I'm going to show you right now, comes in here. So this is the patch right here. This thing right here, okay. that's going to go on the skin. All right, this represents this patch, okay? So hold, hold, be, be, be patient, be patient, let's all be clear. The patch is here, there's going to be a wire, this represents the wire that clips onto the patch, okay? And we put, I use dexamethasone, okay? And we're going to put that right in here, and I'll show you how that works in a little bit too. Dexamethasone is a negative ion, okay? The source right here is electrical source is DC current, direct current. The current flows in one direction as opposed to AC, which comes out of your outlet. So we got direct current, all the ions go one way. We got in electricity, negative ions flow. That's the only way that electricity works. You got the negative ions flowing through here. They come through the patch, and then you're going to have another patch, another area of the body, so that you have a complete circuit. As the current goes through here, it goes to the skin and goes over to the other patch. Well, these negative ions are pushing against the negative ions of the, or the I should say, the electrical. A negative source is pushing against the negative ions of the medication, oh, medication. and they repel each other. If you take two magnets, the north poles, and you push, they repel. Same thing here, it's pushing the medication into the skin, and that's the whole con concept of that. You put this over the inflamed tissue, you push in the anti-inflammatory into that area, it settles down inflammation, decreases the pain, improves the progress, and uh, treatment is done successfully. How long does the treatment take, Brad? If that can vary, typically I can set my unit up for a 10 minute treatment once I get it hooked up. Okay? okay. It will demonstrate the actual uh, use of this in just a minute. Sounds good. Generally what we're going to use this for is some type of itis, right Brad? Right, yep. Exactly. Uh, itis means inflammation, I-T-I-S. And uh, if you want to think about it, there's, there's a, uh, three general ones we use it for. Arthritis, bursitis, and tendonitis. So the three areas. Let, today we're going to use it on the uh, elbow. Uh, an elbow, which is a lateral epicondylitis. You don't need to know all that, but if you have like tennis elbow or golfer's elbow, this is an area where you might want to try it. Exactly. Uh, so what we have is you take the the two patches. Okay. There's a pad that's medicated. Okay. Now sometimes I, I pull this out. I don't have the medication with me because you actually put I put two and a half centimeters of dexamethasone. It's a liquid. Okay. And from there. There's like a cotton pad here, and you put the liquid right on there, and that'll absorb it. It's amazing how you can get that much liquid into that. It just sucks it right up, just like a little diaper. Hmm. Sure. So, and this one, there's no medication on it whatsoever. Now, what I'll do is find out exactly where the sore spot is, okay? I'm not going to ask you to do the treatment because there's a cost involved here, and for education purposes, it, you know, you'll do just fine without actually doing it. But this is going to go right over that tender area. Now, there's adhesive around the outside of this, and there's two layers. I pull off the backing, 
and that'll stick right to it and it will seal that area, okay? And then from there, the second pad that I referred to up here goes three to four inches away from there and we put that there. The electrodes, positive with this medication, dexamethasone, which is a steroid by the way, so it's a little strong. It's a nice potent one. Going to get the job done. And then we put this here. Okay? So we have these two like that, and I set up the machine for 4 milliamps. Now some people, you'll feel some tingles like pins and needles, and if I cannot set the current up to 4 milliamps, at 4 milliamps it takes 10 minutes. If the person only tolerates 2 milliamps, and they say, oh, I'm, I'm comfortable with that, then it's going to take 20 minutes, take twice as long. I would say 95% of the people I can go up to 4 milliamps and there's no problem. Particularly, they'll say, oh, it's a little uncomfortable at first, but within 30 seconds, you have to me to it, things are just fine. So it's really a pain-free treatment. Uh, it takes 10 minutes at that dosage, and once it's done, you simply take off the pads, and you will see a little red patch I'll typically. Say sometimes a little irritated skin. Yeah, that's nothing to get excited about. Within 20 minutes, the redness should go away, and that's fine. Now, if it doesn't go away, and it gets irritated, itches, or is uncomfortable or painful, you're allergic to it and you cannot use this treatment anymore. I've been doing this for 15 years. I've never had an irritation from dexamethasone. Oh, yeah? Yet. No. Wow. I had had one person actually irritated from the adhesive on, the, on this sure. patch with the positive. But I that's the only time. Uh, allergic to the adhesive on the tape. Right. Um, what I do, and there was a study done on this, is that if I know they're not allergic to the medicine, the second time I do it, I will say leave the blue patch on for two hours after you leave. That allows the medication more time to get into the skin, into the irritated area. Most of it's delivered through the ionto uh, treatment itself, but it takes no more effort to leave it on there. You get sure. a little bit extra and uh, you know. How often do you do a treatment like this, Brad? I'll go three times a week to start with. Okay, and, and how many total will you, will you offer? Well, within two to three treatments, you should see some, some uh, Progress Benefit. exactly, and if I don't see any after three treatments, I'll say I'm right. barking up the wrong tree. We need to get after it in a different manner. So, um, in, in general, uh, there are certain things I like it on where I, I won't use formal freezes, which is something else we just talked about. Um, so, there's applications for this, and that's really for your therapist or your doctor to decide. So, it can be a really effective treatment. Cool.